Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've just got off my live with Craft World and Craft Stash, where I've just launched my mini collection, which is Christmas Critters and Animal Antics. So this follows on from the very, well, it was a huge success. And that was the first collection where we had Jerry the Giraffe and Horace the Horse with the wiper dies. And off the, you know, off, kind of off the back of that, so many of you were commenting and were asking me, you know, can we bring out more animals? So we have brought out six new animals and they are, have a Christmas and non-Christmas theme, so you can use them throughout the year. And they're just really, really good fun. So I know um, some of you would have already watched the live. I know lots of you have already been messaging me saying that you've got them already and you can't wait to receive them. They've just been so much fun to make. I've named them as well. I find I get quite attached to them when I <laughs> name them. Um, and it just it just made it even more fun to actually, you know, create with them. So I've got heaps of mess all around me. Like I said, I've literally just come off the live. I've got a nice hot cup of tea here. So I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to show you the samples that I've made, talk about some amazing discounts and offers that are also on today and uh, yeah hopefully you enjoy them as much as I have making them. Okay so these are two of the four new stamp sets and these are the ones with the critters on so you've got your animal antics here and then you've got your Christmas critters on this one but you could use the penguin throughout the winter months and the bear will certainly work all year round as well. So I'm going to name them now for you. So we've got Eve or Evelyn the elephant named after my nan who loves elephants so that's why I've named her the, uh, Eve. Then we have Marty the meerkat. He has such an amazing expression and again when you see him actually working in the cards he looks really good. And then we've got Heidi the hippo. The hippo, the meerkat and the elephant were the top three that were kind of you know being asked for so we, we had to get them and it just so happens that the hippo, I love the I want a hippopotamus for Christmas song, it's one of my favourite Christmas songs so it was really nice to have that one and I'm going to be using her in some really fun Christmas cards that you'll see me sharing. Then over here we have Bo Bear, so Bo the Bear then we've got obviously Rudolph, you can't really change his name, but like if you just change the colour of his nose, then he can be any of the other reindeers. And then we have Penelope the penguin, or P for short. Really, really cute critters. And then you have all these extras. We've got Berry Merry Christmas to a dear friend, and then Let's P -p 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 Party, which I really like. You've got your Christmas present. This is a scarf which will fit around Bo, but you can also mix it across the others as well if you wanted. You've got lights here again, you'll see them in my samples. And you've got the little hot chocolate there, you've got mittens which will go onto the penguin, and then you have baubles here, I think that's it on that one, yeah. And over on here you have Merry Christmas after the meerkat, a trunk full, and then you can have a birthday wishes or Christmas wishes, so a trunk full of birthday wishes or a trunk full of Christmas wishes, and then you've got hippo birthday to you. So some really fun puns there. Then you've got some flowers which you'll see that I've used, some little stars, and that little kind of flower there as well with the leaves so that's those ones then as a little addition to work with these if you would like we have these props so you have your christmas photo booth props and you also have your just photo booth ones so these are christmas these are normal now there are dies for these as well i should have mentioned so there's your dies for bow bear Penelope and Rudolph, you get the dye there to cut the scarf, the present, the hot chocolate, the lights and to a dear friend sentiment. And then for this one here, the animal antics, you will cut the meerkat, the hippo and the elephant and then the flower, the balloons, the flower, the hippo birthday to you sentiment and the Christmas wishes sentiment. Okay, so that's all there. Then these are the props. So you have dyes there that will cut some of the props and then some of the Christmas props as well. Okay, you, you, there's some great offers online at the moment. You can buy the bundles and if you purchase, I'll talk about those in a bit more, but if you um, purchase any of these, you can get the you can get the wiper or the slider dies for 30% off. So some great offers. There's also um, some discounts on some of the paper pads as well. So um, we try to give you some really good deals there if you do decide to purchase any of this. So here you'll see all these props. Now it's easy for me to just show you in this tray here. So if I do the Christmas ones first of all, now I've used these very inexpensive from the pound shop and they're your toothpicks and I've just cut the ends off and then attached them to make little photo booth props. As you see there, you've got your ho ho ho, you've got the Santa's hat, which what I've used here is the fluffy stuff. So if I bring it up really close, you can see all that dimension there and it looks like faux snow or it could look like you know, fluffy fabric, and it's this here. It's the Cosmic Shimmer Fluffy Stuff. I got it last year, I used it in a lot of my Christmas makes. It's really, really good stuff. And again, all the links to everything that I'm showing today will be shared below. But you've got your little 
hat there. You've also got the little stocking, which again, I've used that fluffy stuff. You basically put it on wet and then you apply heat and it expands and it's just really, really nice. Then you've got gingerbread man and then you've got some antlers here and basically these will work either on the animals and they're meant to be oversized they're meant to be look a bit silly that's the whole point that's what photo booth props are but if you imagine here you can add them onto the elephant you could add them onto the hippo and you'll see all this in my samples in a moment then we've also got some presents here we've got a tie so again, you know, you can put a little tie on the hippo so you can change these. It might be a congratulations on your new job and you want to use the hippo. You could put the tie on there. You could put the tie on Marty. They're really, really fun. Then I've got, what other ones have we got here? We've got a candy cane. You've got Rudolph's nose. So again, they either hold the props on their own. You can just put them, you know, on their hand there. It could be a lollipop actually, or it could be, let's bring in Bo Bear. He might want to have a big red nose so you can just there is just so many there's hundreds basically hundreds of different ways to use these again you've got a little elf hat there so Bo might wear a little elf hat you could put the elf hat on Rudolph or the reindeer maybe not so much on Penelope there because she's already got a hat on but certainly on the meerkat you'll see that on one of my samples obviously I've got the sticks on these you just don't add the sticks if I use that one there it'd be easier to show you there we go how fun do they look and just have them kind of on a slant there really really fun certainly made me smile this set that you've got santa's beard there you've got a mustache and my favorites from these quite possibly are the naughty and nice so i've got the nice there let me find my naughty little signs here these are just adorable so much fun so that's used that's the christmas one so that's all of these ones here and then for the party ones which are here so you can see you've got a little party hat there and I've put these pom-poms on which are these are from Simply Creative which is by Trimcraft I got them last year I've just been using those and I've also used some of these polystyrene balls as well and you'll see that on these ones here so there's that one and that one so it's just really fun ways to bring your little elements to life give them a bit more character um, and again you can see if I just use these ones and you just bring them in here you add a birthday hat onto bow there and then you can bring in the hat and pop it onto Eve Marty looks great with the party hat on like so so that's those ones you've also got the cowboy hat which I love Again, I've got it on the stick there, but without, you can see the hat looks really good. And that's again on some samples. You've got a beard in here. You've got a pirate's hat. So again, you pop the pirate hat there on Heidi. Um, you've got little bow ties. The bow ties are great. Bow ties work, you know, on so many of them there. They could all wear a bow tie. It looks super cute. You've got a little bandana as well, which will work. Pop the bandana on. Um, you've got an eye patch, you've got the selfie sign which I love, again you'll see that all in the samples. You've got some glasses here with stars on, so you can put them on them or they could be on a little stick. And you've also got the little mask here as well, like so. So you can either go on them or I've popped it on a stick, maybe it's come off anyway. I think I used that in my demo but I also love the unicorn and I put glitter on that one there. And you'll see the crown because I've used that in a sample that i done just on that live. So that's the stamps and the dies. So let me show you the samples so you can really see how they look. So first of all, I've got this lovely sample here. And this is using the square 6x6 slider die. And I've used that Polaroid photo centre. And I've used the reindeer stamp there. And I've put some glossy accents on the nose so it's shiny. And that is using this stuff here, glossy accents. So, I, you know, the kind of the things I've used here these kind of bits and the, the sticks there just to really kind of add a bit more texture and dimension and stuff to the cards. So you just pull this card and then it reveals this sentiment. This sentiment's actually used in one of the card making magic sentiments. I thought it worked really well. And you can put a gift card and other sentiments and stuff on there. And these are top folding cards. So again, if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen this, I will link the playlist for the slider die so you can see how they're used and again the links to these will be shared below but you can see the selfie even the little holly there with the berries and I put some glitter 
then the naughty and nice love these and the present. So that's using the 6x6 square. This is using the 6x6 circle slider and this is using Bow Bear. You can see that lovely scarf there that I've added. Again, the naughty and nice, I've used the little gingerbread man, the candy cane, and then you've got that ho 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 sentiment, and I've put some glossy accents on that. And all these lights as well, which is that stamp, I've just done kind of like a bit of a tangled light effect. And then I've added some of my flat back pearls on the side there, and again, just lift that one, and it says very merry Christmas. So these cards are great because you can display them obviously open, like so, or you can close them, and then they can be a top folding and they can stand like that. So they've got a really nice profile about them. So it's that one in the six by six circle. And then again, I've gone back to the square in the six in the six by six slider. And I've just gone mad with this one, just basically showing all the elements within that party props stamp set. Isn't it lovely? I really like this one. You've got the pom-pom ball there. You've got the glitter on the crown there. And then this one, you just pull and it says hippo birthday to you. Isn't that adorable? Really, really nice. Then moving on to, so that's just how you can use them within some of the slider dies. Then in the wiper, so this is using the Z fold. So Jerry the giraffe fits really nicely in this one. The meerkat will fit in this one. Obviously the reindeer here, because you need, the element needs to be no wider than this in order to fit behind. But basically with this one, so you've got all of the reindeer and then out pops Rudolph with his red nose. Got some presents there with the naughty and nice and you'll see I've stamped those tangled lights again all along the top and I've added Nouveau drops. This background was one of the backgrounds I made during the live and it was using the mica powders. So I've got a nice snowy background there and then you've got lots of room on the back to be able to write your message. These cards I'm going to be using as Christmas cards so I just need to finish off little bits like that but they stand once it's open it stands up like so with Rudolph popping up there. <laughs> it's just adorable, really enjoyed that one. Then the meerkat works brilliantly with this wiper style. So we've got here all of the meerkats and then Marty is wondering what's going on. So out he pops. It just, with that meerkat movement that they have, this card just works so well with this style. Absolutely love it. And you've got there the Merry Christmas. Again, all the space on the back to be able to write your message. This is using the five by seven wiper die set along with this one here. So this is Penelope, the penguin, and she is skating. And you'll see I've just added some glitter there. Very faint blended background. There is like a kind of an ice blue that I used in the Distressed Oxide. And then here I've used all those baubles hanging and then the lights again. I've used glossy accents so there's some shine to them. Some of the presents and then it says Christmas wishes and then it pops up. Let's put a party. Again, such a fun card. I've added some silver mirrored card there on the side pieces and on the back all your room there. Then this is using the six by six of the wiper cards. So this is using Eve the elephant. And I've just stamped and masked all the balloons there that you get in the stamp set. Used one of the hats there with the pom-poms and then I did some mirror stamping. So we had the other elephant facing this one here. And then there's a little crown with glitter that I've put on the top as well and I just think it's so much fun and I just move so freely. Then this is the one I made during my Craft Stash and Craft World launch. So this was my demo one and this is the 5x7 wiper and you'll see here I started off I'd already coloured this one last night so I just done a bit of masking with the balloons behind and then I showed how to put this all together and I'll link that live launch below as well if you want to see how I put this one together but um, I've just added in the presents and then some little props here. There's the unicorn with the glitter. And then you just pull the sides and out pops Bo Bear with his very sparkly hat. I think it looks so good. And these are using some of the papers from my range which are currently on offer. Isn't that a wonderful, very happy card? It's your special day. And then on the back there, you can just stamp happy birthday if you wanted to. Then using the stamps but not with those kinetic style cards so I've got some here so this one you'll recognize that big sentiment which was from the last tower collection let's party and then I've got three of the meerkats along the bottom and then I've done the balloons up the side and I've used the little balls there I mean you would have to put them in a, a slightly dimensional box I guess or just a normal envelope if you're hand delivering it will be fine but I think again they look really nice that's one of the slimline cards 
Then we've got this one here, which again is Beau Bear. Totally propped up there. <laughs> He's got his Christmas hat on, Christmas stocking, carrot. We've got the bow, the gingerbread and the beard there. And then it says Berry Merry Christmas. And again, this is one of the other backgrounds I've done with the mica powder. So it's the, that's a, just a, a, an embossing folder from my stash, but it's got a shine to it. Got the selfie there. And then that's just a top folding card. And then we've got this one here, which has got the four panels. So it's like they're all having their own little selfie. And you can see all those props being used again. So I've got the reindeer or the deer antlers there. Got the bandana, you've got the hot chocolate. Penelope's holding the nice sign there saying that Marty is nice, but Heidi is hide holding her sign, which is saying that Bo's been naughty. It's just a really fun card, and I like that it kind of, the 3D part of it is like they're coming out of their squares there. You can see the bow tie, Marty's face, he looks so startled, but I love it. I think it's so good. Got a little, little bit of glitter there. Again, very tactile, great cards for younger generation, but I would love to receive this as well. So I think they work for all ages. But that was just, yeah, another sample to show you. So that's everything. This will all be shown again with even more stuff on the 3rd of November, where I will be launching on Hachanda. And then I will also be launching on Craft Stash as well. So all of these critters are going to work with the next concept card style. So it's another kinetic card style, which I am super excited. It actually arrived during the live. My doorbell went and I was very lucky that someone else let the because um, I live in an apartment block, someone else let the delivery guy in and he was able to leave my parcel outside my door. So I now have that to get you know on with and incorporate some of this with those so that you can see exactly how it all looks together. But it's very much my style, it's very much my character, it's very colourful and it really does make me smile and I hope it has for you too. So thank you to those of you that have already been purchasing. I can't wait to see what you start putting together with this really fun collection. So thanks for watching and I'll be back very soon with some fun tutorials using all of this product. Thanks for watching. Bye!